What is going on guys, Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the Witch Queen patch note preview that Bungie revealed a few days ago. Now this is the update, which is going to be 4.0.0.1. And they want to go ahead and talk about some of the changes we can expect Tuesday when the Witch Queen releases. Now this is not going to be all the patch notes. I will have a patch note video when those are actually released. Everything in detail. This is a lot of stuff they said we can expect to see on Tuesday and kind of going forward. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. They're going to change up the way ritual rewards work. Starting with the Witch Queen, the ritual playlist rewards will be updated to grant ritual specific gear. So that's weapons, mods, and armor. And we'll no longer be granting rewards from the general world pool. Also, Crucible will grant Crucible gear. Vanguard will grant Vanguard gear. And Gambit will grant Gambit gear. Engram focusing is currently only available on Saint-14 and the Drifter for their ritual specific engrams. World engrams will continue to be granted at major ranks on ritual vendors. I said that's kind of just for a little bit of variety. Gambit, Crucible, and Vanguard rituals are receiving update uh, updates to armors rewards uh, for new for the new expansion release, and they're also going to have the same basic appearance but slightly differences in decals and coloring to represent each ritual. Also, they talked about the Eververse, you know, how how that's going to work in Graham's Bright Dust. This is right now they have no cha or no changes planned for that. Only thing they really talked about was. Uh, make sure that you're getting your last bit of bright dust uh the 700 bright dust is in the store that's kind of tied to the 30th anniversary and that will be ending on tuesday so uh monday is really gonna be the last time that you can pick up that bright dust so make sure you grab that bright dust because after uh this week's reset they're not gonna be giving away bright dust in the store anymore they did say they may look at eververse and bright dust in the future but right now everything's going to stay the same they also talked about the season pass and how they're planning on changing it going into season 16. high stat seasonal armor has been reintroduced Individual pieces are rewarded between ranks 57 and 87. Legendary engrams have been replaced with focusing uh, umbral engrams, uh, five in total, each focused to a different armor piece, armor, legs, uh, such armor like arms, legs, chest, cl uh, your class piece, and your head. All umbral engrams are tier two. The season pass emblem has been removed, but they have introduced a new season pass sparrow. Also, the season pass scrounger bonuses, bonuses, bonuses which increase seasonal weapon or armor drop chances and ritual activities have been overhauled. The weapon scrounger bonuses are now no longer separated by weapon type or ritual activity. Now they apply to both the season pass legendary weapons and all activities at once. So two weapon uh, scrounger bonuses instead of six. The first bonus grants the player a small chance to receive the weapons from the ritual activities. The second gives a bonus to give an improved chance. Uh, total drop chance is unchanged from previous seasons. The armor bonus uh, are no longer separated by ritual activity. It now applies to all activities at once. So one armor uh, scrounger bonus instead of three. Like the weapon, the total drop chance of each armor piece is unchanged. Aside from the emblem, no items have been removed from the season pass, only added. A number of rewards such as glimmer and legendary shards have been consolidated to make room for high stat armor. A small amount of upgrade modules has also been added. Uh, the order some rewards uh, the order some rewards are acqu acquired has been tuned to accommodate the above changes. Also, they fixed a issue with the Shattered Throne Thrallway. They said uh, the Shattered Throne was unintentionally granting rewards such as Glimmer, Engrams, and XP. As a player beginning to craft weapons and level up in the season pass, and uh, of course on February the 22nd in the Witch Queen. They want to ensure gameplay rewards are earned by playing and completing activities, bounties, or just hanging out with friends and patrols while defeating minions of the darkness. So they are going to change that uh, Shattered Throne Thrallway so people can't just go in there and grind it you know, out like they have in the past. And also they talked about boss stomps, which is one thing that a lot of pe uh, players are in the community have really kind of been upset with. They adjust in the, uh, are going to adjust the physics of knockback from boss stomps. This should result in fewer deaths when being knocked back into objects. And that is a big issue. A lot of us have probably witnessed this when you're in a uh, nightfall or something, you know, especially a more difficult nightfall that you get stomped by the boss and you end up getting killed and kind of bounced off something. There's really no way that you could avoid it. And it is very annoy annoying. So hopefully that's going to, you know, kind of tone that down some. They also said there will be more you know, patch notes available on Tuesday once the update goes live. So we can expect to see more changes as well. But that was some of the things they wanted to highlight for this new update. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.